Hello guys. How's everyone doing? Well, is Cardi B thinking about forgiving Tasha K? Well, I hope so. Because guys, it is, in my opinion, something that can be forgiven. And I say that to say, because as social media influencers, which is Cardi B, Tasha K, myself, and others, we are sometimes fall short of the way we use our platform. And for Tasha K, it's, it is understandable for me to see how she can let situations get out of hand. The fans and people that follow play a big part in things and decisions and videos and topics that we cover. And for Tasha K to pursue coming for Cardi, I have to look at the, the, the monetary gains. She was getting a lot of attention. She was getting a lot of views. Gaining a lot of money. Off of something that a lot of creators do. Which is content. Now, I'm not speaking on the lies. If there were lies, I don't know. You know, I'm not speaking on that. But I'm speaking on the influence that we get and we have to be strong minded to not follow and be so hungry for the views you know so i personally feel like tasha k is not a bad person i personally feel like it's business you know and people seem to gravitate towards people with a strong mind and that's not afraid to say things that they want to say. I know this for many reasons. Okay. A lot of people follow people like Tasha K so they can Get in their ear, get in their chat, say the things that they want to say to that person, whoever that content creator is speaking on. So, I feel like Tasha K knows what situation she's in. I feel like it's over exaggerated. You know, it's over exaggerated. The lies, I, I, you know, the 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 um, you know, the, some of the things that she was saying about Cardi B, I don't agree with. But the content that she was doing was based on her looking at, oh wow, I get a lot of views when I do this. I get a lot of views when I do this. The people that gravitate towards what's going on between Tasha K and Cardi B I'm not saying they're the blame because Tasha is a, her own woman but I'm just saying now that so many people don't want to see Tasha K forgiven by Cardi B it's the reason okay not the reason but is affiliated with what happened you know, being greed for the views and the money that they were gaining from the people watching it all go down. See, a lot of people watch your downfall. 
You know, a lot of those people that were riding and listening and watching Tasha K. Now we see that they were only watching to see her downfall. And I just heard um, Cardi B say she don't want to talk to her fans about something. She don't want to talk to her husband about something because he's going to call her the P word. And she wants to talk to her mom and her lawyer, which is making me believe she knows how the people that watch you can be. If this is the case of her wanting to forgive Tasha, no, she don't want to go to her fans. No, she want, she want to go to someone that she trusts and the lawyer to give her the best advice. And when she said she wasn't going to her fans, I knew that she knew that the fans and the people that watch you can influence you in a way that you might not want to go. Or to think something that you might not want to think. Or to do something that you might not want to do. The influence that we get from the people behind the screen. You have to have your own mind. Not be so thirsty for the views and thirsty for the money. Because people will sit back, clap their hand, watch every video, every live that you do, and be sitting by waiting on you to crumble, your train to wreck, or to see what's going on now between Tasha K and Cardi B. I see a lot of influencers wishing and hoping that Tasha K gets what's coming to her. And I'm looking at it like, and these are going to be the same people, the same people that wanted to see the train wreck, but don't want to see them come together. Don't want to see them come together and her apologize. <coughs> on, 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 definitely on social media. Nobody probably wants to see that. I feel like it's something that can be done because we've all made mistakes. Social media is a grab, a uh, 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 tragic grabber, should I say. It, it, it grabs you, it grabs you and makes you do things that you usually probably don't want to do or say. Because you're looking at it like, I have thousands of people in my chat. You know, I have thousands of people watching me. You know, so you're going to be influenced. If you're not strong, you're going to be influenced to maybe do something that you don't want to do or say. Being the reason why Cardi said that I'm not going to my fans and I'm not going to my husband. I'm going to my mom and I'm going to my lawyer. Because that is the best influence you can have. Just because we are content creators, influencers, you have to have your own mind. You can't be deterred. Like what I'm going in, like what I'm going through right now. Try to be positive because I know people love mess. People love drama. So I'm not trying to go that way. I'm not trying to be thirsty. I want to do it the right way. I want people to come over here for me being the authentic me that I am, for my original content, which I know. And I have videos where I've talked about things that people, you know, wanted me to talk about or things that was trending. And yeah, that toxic drama gets views. But we can't blame the watchers, the followers, the subscribers for the things that we do and we say on our platform. But you have to be strong enough to know that people like to see train wrecks. They're toxic, they're messy, and they're miserable. And at the end of the day, we will be the ones on the other end of the stick that's burning at the stake. So, with that being said, guys... I personally hope that she forgives her. I hope that they come together 
on social media and talk about it. Explain to her why she did what she did, what she was going through, and, and, and really, really mean it from the bottom of her heart. And we get to see this collaboration unfold on social media. And I'm so glad that Cardi B didn't want to discuss it on social media. And I pray that everything turns out right for both of these young ladies. Because social media got to be strong. You got to be strong. You got to have that tough skin. And you can't be influenced. You got to stand for who you are, what you believe in, and portray that. Because misery loves company. <laughs>